Welcome into another edition of AL.com's Film Room. I'm Lauren Sisler, joined by our expert here, Cole Kublik. And today we are going to talk about that glaring issue for the Auburn Tigers, consistency at the wide receiver position. Tony Stevens, what, are your, what is your thought on the senior as we head into this 2016 season? Lauren, this is a position of need for Auburn. I think not only because there's not a lot of experience at receiver, but there could potentially be some quarterback issues. So what's the best thing to bail a quarterback out? Good receivers. We've actually seen that in Auburn the past few years. Not so much last year. Ricardo Lewis was sort of a bailout guy, but the previous year, Sammy Coates and Duke Williams, they were what I call erasers. They could erase mistakes of a quarterback. Don't really have a known product, known commodity coming back at that position. So Tony Stevens is somebody who I think that they'll have to rely on. They're going to have to find go-to receivers. And you see Tony Stevens here, little play action, six out. Just find a way to go up and make a play. Not the best throw from Jeremy Johnson. Puts a little air under it. But you see Tony Stevens high point the football, go up, show strong hands, bring the ball back to his body, sort of in between two A&M defenders there. I like the fact that he's physical. I like the fact that he understands how to locate the football at its highest point, beat the defender to the ball, and go up and find a way to make a play for his team. Lauren, we'll take another look at Tony Stevens. Now lined up in the slot. Saw him out wide last time, so he's a guy that can line up in different places, do different things. Again, it goes back to regardless of who the quarterback is. If it's John Franklin III, if it's Sean White, Jeremy Johnson, there will be times that these quarterbacks, based on experience and what they've shown on the field, are going to need to be bailed out, need receivers to go make plays. And I think Tony Stevens shows you right here, he can be one of those guys. You see a little play action, kind of a pitch back for Jeremy Johnson. He's just going to throw it up for grabs. Tony Stevens shows some physicality here, working in between a couple of defensive backs. Going to go up and just make a play. Two DBs deep for Ole Miss. Come off one, make a catch inside of another receiver. Sort of uses his body to shield off the second defender. And what I like about this is anytime you can frustrate a defensive back and you can make them unhappy, that's a good day. That's a good day if you're a wide receiver. So Tony Stevens shows some physicality, shows the ability to go up and make a play, sort of save his quarterback. This is not a throw I think you would ask your quarterback to make or the correct read that you would want your quarterback to make throwing into double coverage. But Tony Stevens is a guy that can go up and make a play and find the football. Got a lot, lot of young guys coming in, uh, hopefully getting some depth at that position. In terms of returning guys, who do you expect to make an impact and to help Tony Stevens in this position? I think Tony Stevens is one. I think Marcus Davis has to be the other. He really has been the most reliable receiver that's returning that Gus Malzahn has. There, there, there haven't been a lot of other guys that have been healthy and have been in big games and made big plays. I mean, one of your leading returning receivers is, is one of your running backs, really. And your second leading returning receiver is transferring out, and he played running back. So there's just not a lot of experience there. And you mentioned those freshmen. A lot of Auburn fans are really excited. I don't ever like to bank on freshmen because you don't know what you're going to get. I've seen enough highly touted freshmen come in and really not do anything their first year or their career. I've seen guys that were walk-ons or maybe not even offered until two or three guys bailed out of a signing class come in and be huge impact players. So I don't like to bank on freshmen because they're just unknown products. But I think Auburn's going to have to find a way to do it this fall.